Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from The Dating Advice Guru at datingadviceguru.com with more of those secrets to unlock his heart. But today, I got something a little bit interesting. <laughs> There's this uh, story that came up about this black and blue dress. Well, okay, white and gold dress. Oh, I don't know anymore because I'm black and blue from thinking about this stupid white and gold dress. Now, I, and normally I don't get bent on a shape over women's fashion. After all, it isn't exactly a topic I'm deeply passionate about. Sorry about that, but you know. And I never imagined I'd get locked into a heated debate with a bunch of friends over the color of a stupid dress. However, all that changed when a friend of mine forwarded me this story. Uh, and too bad I didn't know it would be the worst decision I'd probably make today. You know, there's some things that they just can't be unseen, and this is one of them. But who would have thought a seemingly innocent piece of clothing could cause so much havoc? Then again, it's, maybe it's just some well-planned viral marketing campaign to sell a bunch of blue and blue, blue and black dresses. But um, apparently the rest of the world, as you'll probably realize, also wasted their time and energy over this, which is kind of sad and a little bit silly, really. Um, not to get all serious, but all I could think of was right now people in the world are literally dying from war and hunger and famine, and we're getting worked up over a damn dress? More than anything, it was the pettiness of everything that just kind of bothered me. Come to think of it, most arguments start off with the simplest of things, like fashion, and then escalate when emotions come into the picture. It even happens within your relationship. I'm sure you've found this happening, right? They start off with something small and blows up to something huge. And it makes for an unproductive mess that leaves everybody upset. I mean, when was the last time you found yourself in a petty discussion with someone, like your significant other, for instance? And how did you feel about it afterwards? To avoid getting sucked into a petty fight with your partner, the trick is to read between the lines. And sometimes there's more to an argument than what you see on the surface. Picture this. One day your guy says, uh, hey, that new spy movie is playing today. And then you reply, eh, I'm not really into that James Bond kind of stuff. So now what does he say? Well, who crapped in your coffee? I'm just saying, dude. Well, now you're feeling attacked, right? And you come back with, you know, my coffee's just fine. You're the one who's getting worked up over a stupid movie. Okay, now that starts to escalate a little bit, and your guy fires back. Sure, I'm the grumpy one, so sue me for trying to make a conversation. Now, let's freeze phrase this hypothetical scenario, and we'll hit the rewind button, shall we? It might seem like your guy is just into spy movies, right? But you could also say that he was trying to make a bid for your attention. And also what your guy missed from your comment about not caring for that James Bond kind of stuff was that you wanted to have a conversation with him, just not about that topic. Even if it wasn't your intention, he thought you were just shooting down his attempt at some chit-chat, and that's why he made that snarky comeback about you being grouchy and not caring about him. Feeling hurt yourself, which is what happens, things then escalated further after telling him that he got upset over a big, well, let's just say a great deal of nothing. And finally, what happened? He blurted out in a very abrasive way what he really wanted was just to make conversation. Sure, it's a lot easier to have a knee-jerk reaction, but you're better off reading between the lines before doing anything else. The key to diffusing this situation like this boils down to a couple of things. Seeing the situation for what it is and responding appropriately. You have to ask yourself, what, what's missing from this picture? For instance, if you weren't interested in spy movie, movies, you could offer a, another topic up, right, instead? Like, hmm, I, uh, I really don't like that James Bond kind of stuff, but the trailer for that new comedy looks pretty funny. Meanwhile, of course, your guy also had the chance to switch gears up instead of blowing up. And he could have said, well, are there any other good movies coming out? Or something like that. Or, well, did you want to check out another movie instead? And then that would have put you on the same page, wouldn't it? Now, these little bumps in the road can make it hard to connect. And make you both uh, kind of fearful and sometimes anxious about the relationship. But it doesn't have to be a problem like this for you anymore. I just came out with a new course that's going to, well, hopefully suck all that pettiness out of your relationship effortlessly. And you can come on over and check it out. Just go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash true romance. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash true romance. And it's something I think you're going to get a little kick out of, especially when you find out that men actually have a romantic reflex. And it's something that you, you and actually only you, can trigger. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash true romance. And I'll be talking again soon on the podcast, on the videos, and of course at the site at datingadviceguru.com. This is Carlos Cavallo. Talk to you again soon.